When your investments or your IRA or your 401k or 403b get squished like they probably have this year, it's personal. You feel like you're the one getting squeezed well, hopefully this will ease the pressure just a little bit. A lot of the reason that the stock market has been so volatile is that the Federal Reserve has been raising interest rates. They do that to pour cold water on an economy that has gotten too hot and is causing inflation, higher prices. We always hear that the stock market doesn't like rising interest rates, or does it? There are several different analyses that have come out this year showing that historically, during and right after the Fed raised interest interest rates, stocks rebounded, often significantly during the periods where rate hikes were happening and a year after rate increases began. Now, before we get too excited, though, it doesn't always work out that way. I say that because one of the comparisons, which looks at how stocks did after all the periods of rate hikes over the past four decades, found that there was one time when the stock market was lower six months after interest rates started going up. And well, well, this time rates started rising on March 17th. Six months later, in mid-September, the market was down about 11%. So this could be one of those rare negative market outcomes after rate increases. But again, it is much more likely that we'll see positive returns between now and next spring if you go by previous rate hike history. Electoral history agrees with that, according to Bloomberg. They report that going all the way back to the 1950s in midterm election years, like like this year, some of the worst months for stocks are some of the months we have just been through, and those were bad. So if we stay on trend here, history shows that in the last three months of this election year and the first three months of next year, we should see big market gains that will hopefully unsquish your investments and retirement accounts. More info, as always, in my latest article online, which I've linked to on my Facebook and Twitter pages. I am at Jason Wheeler TV, working to help you and your investments Stay right on the money.